Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain about the infinite bus of electrical machine. So infinite bus means uh, when synchronous generators are connected to a single bus as you can see in, in this figure. So when n number of alternators are connected to this single bus, so it becomes the infinite bus. So infinite bus act like a, a power source because it have unlimited capacity which means large capacity. When there's large capacity, the voltage and frequency remain stable, that is constant. So this is a figure where gen alternators are connected to uh, infinite bus. So in power system, it is not possible to fit all the consum consumer by a single alternator or generator. So to meet the demand of consumers, many alternators are connected to a single bus. So when many alternators are connected to a single bus, it acts like a single large machine. So this single large machine have a, a, a high capacity. So when there is high capacity, the voltage and the frequency remain is uh, taken as constant. So in this uh, infinite bus system, there is zero in, in internal impedance because generators are connected in parallel. In parallel connection, the internal impedance tends to minimum or zero. And rotational inertia is infinite. So when there is zero internal impedance and infinite rotational energy, the system become constant in voltage as well as constant in frequency, regardless of a load connected or disconnected from this infinite bus. So this is a characteristic characteristic of infinite bus. The first one is the terminal voltage remain constant because even the increase in even the increase or decrease in number of generator it doesn't affect the uh, voltage of this system. That's why the bus remain constant in terminal voltage. The second one is the frequency remain constant because the rotation energy is too large. And the third characteristic is the synchronous impedance. As we have seen earlier, these alternators are connected to, uh, in parallel, so impedance is very small. This is operating characteristic. When uh, generators are operate in infinite bus what are the its what are its characteristic so terminal voltage and frequency of the jump uh, this generator are controlled by its system itself that means it will remain constant even removal of its load or remo removal of any generator or addition of generator so governor governor set point means the speed of alternator's control the rail power so field current current in alternator controls reactive power so here when increase in increase or decrease in uh, this excitation current the reactive power will increase or decrease vice versa we have discussed in earlier that in infinite bus the voltage and frequency remain constant so here is the proof number one which will prove the voltage is remain constant. So these are the parameters: terminal voltage, induced EMF, and synchronized impedance, and number of generators. We know that the voltage, terminal voltage, is equal to uh, induced EMF minus uh, current times synchronized impedance equivalence. So this. Uh, uh, Synchronous equivalent impedance can be written as synchronized impedance divided by number of generator. So when this number of generator is very large, let it be infinite. So this number equivalent impedance tends to uh, zero. So when it tends to zero, this value will become zero. When it substitute to this equation, the V will equal to E. That means the terminal voltage is equal to 
into CMF that means the system is remaining tunnel voltage constant this is uh, proof number proof number B here it will prove that the frequency is remaining constant so let G be the moment of inertia of alternator so we know that there is n number of generator that means there will be n times j it is given that the acceleration the acceleration equal to tau divided by summation of this moment of inertia so summation of moment of inertia is given by n times moment of inertia of each alternator so this n this when this n tends to large or infinity the value of acceleration value of acceleration tends to zero so when acceleration tends to zero the speed remain constant so when speed is constant the frequency is constant therefore the frequency in this infinite bus remain constant throughout so from this two proof we can draw the conclusion that to obtain constant voltage and to obtain constant frequency so the number of alternators the number of alternators should be largest largest possible large as possible or it should be like infinity number thank you